microphone issues. We're good now. Thank you for joining us. It is thir Friday, April 26. Here are your afternoon headlines. Google officially announced it is coming to Fort Wayne and gave additional details about its presence in the area. A new $2 billion data center will be built. The Free Skilled Trades and Readiness STAR program is coming into the Fort Wayne area as well. $250,000 in initial community and pro programmatic support will also be benefiting the new Fort Wayne Early Learning Center and Just Neighbors Interfaith Homeless Network. Also, a collaboration with Indiana Michigan Power to add clean energy to the local grid. We'll have more coming up on this later on today. The stand is celebrating 20 years in Fort Wayne and they're doing it with a party tomorrow. We had a preview of the celebration today. You can see that on Wayne.com right now. There will be balloons, games, a beer garden. Everything starts at 1130 tomorrow morning and goes until about 9 o'clock. And also 5% of the sales at the stand tomorrow will be donated to the Kate's Court, Kate's Cart, excuse me, organization. The stand is located at 50. 200 Bluffton Road. Taking a look at what we're working on for first at first at five and the news at six. We'll have more on Google's announcement. Ethan Dolan was there and he'll let us know what local leaders are saying regarding this announcement and this huge investment into the area. Plus, we are learning more about fentanyl prevention with children. Taylor King will have more on that. And today is Arbor Day. We'll let you know how the city is celebrating. All right, let's look at that weather for us. Clouds are moving into the area. We do have rain on the way. We'll take a look at radar in just a minute. We are going to be windy and warm this weekend. Looking at Storm Tracker, you can see off to the west that large system that is heading toward us. Getting a little closer with our viewing area, just some cloud cover, no rain yet. It should happen in the later parts of the afternoon into the evening, then go into the morning hours tomorrow as well. We'll take a look at the exclusive 10 day forecast to give you a better idea of that in just a second. Looking at your hourly planner though, temperatures rising into the upper 60s though. You can see right around dinner time is when we'll start to see some chances of rain with it increasing as we head into the later parts of the afternoon and evening. You can see our cloud cover also steadily increasing as we get closer to dinner time. Looking at Parkview Field, the tin caps are in town. Cloud cover mostly around the area now. Not a lot of sunshine happening. Uh, tin caps could get rained out with that 7.05 start time tonight. So if you are heading to the game tonight, make sure you're keeping an eye on the weather. Whether or not the tin caps will play. Looking at that exclusive 10 day forecast, like I mentioned, that rain is going to move into the evening hours and then continue overnight, which will bring us some chances to see some rain showers tomorrow morning. But the good news, our weather is beautiful temperature wise for the weekend. We'll see temperatures in the upper 70s, nearly 80 on Sunday. We are contending with windy conditions as well this weekend. Sustained winds will be right around that 20 to 20 mile per hour mark. Some gusts could reach up to 30 or or 40 miles per hour throughout the weekend. So if you've got anything out in your yard, you might want to secure it to make sure it doesn't blow away. Looking at the rest of the forecast, we see another chance to see some storms Monday morning, but temperatures lingering around that lower 70 degree mark for much of the week. We do see some more chances of seeing some rain on Thursday, but take a look at that. Wednesday, May 1st, 75 degrees should be a beautiful start to that month month. Once again, we'll see you back here at first at five and the news at six on Wayne 15. And I'll see you here on Wayne.com at 4 p.m. with all your latest headlines. Until then, have a great day.